Hi, I'm Ben Turpin and welcome to Whip Finish Industries. Today I want to talk to you about a fly you really need to have in your box in November. This is the Quill Body Midge. Throughout the fall and winter, small nymphs and midge fishing becomes much more important because most of the major hatches uh, of the spring and summer, they've gone away. Uh, the fish are now feeding on small olives, midges, and tiny nymphs. So this is a real basic pattern that a friend of mine, Derek Kossaboon, shared with me many years ago. And it, all it is is a quill body and thread. So we're gonna teach you how to tie the basic quill body nymph. And um, it, we're gonna start out with a Dairiki number 135 size 18 hook. And we're gonna use a uh, uni thread size eight dot uh, olive thread on this particular fly. All right. So we're just gonna create our thread base for our midge and um, work our way back to the bend of the hook. This is a great fly if you're a New Jersey fisherman, you end up in the Pequest River. Uh, I've had lots of success in the Pequest, but also central Pennsylvania or the uh, Lehigh Valley limestoners, all those areas that have uh, good populations of blue wing olives and midges throughout the winter, uh, this is a very productive pattern. So we're gonna take a brown hackle and strip it. So if you don't have um, brown hackle and you're just looking for something to tie this fly, you could get an inexpensive Indian neck. Uh, or if you've got some dry fly necks laying around, uh, the feathers in the back of your dry fly neck would work well for this as well. We're gonna take that quill and we're gonna tie it in at the bend of the hook. Make sure you've got it secure. And we're taking that fine tapered end of the quill and tying it in at the bend of the hook. We're gonna work our thread back to the eye of the hook. And now we're gonna take our quill and we're just gonna make a nice segmented body with the quill back up over the olive thread. So this is a fly, you may wanna drop down to 6X if you're fishing this fly in, a, in skinny water or clear water which we do have oftentimes in the fall. Um, if you've got fish that are sipping on midges uh, or feeding sporadically on midges, it, the larva patterns work quite well uh, in the fall and in the winter. I'm gonna secure our quill and then we're gonna build a thread head. A little larger than your typical uh, head on a fly um, because we want it to be an obvious change in the fly, where this is the head of the fly. So we're gonna build up our thread head right in front of the quill body. And this fly is, again, a simple fly, but is extremely effective. Uh, I've had some incredible days on Spring Creek and on the Pequest with this fly, and uh, I think you're gonna find it very productive as well. Now, being a quill body, one of the things that you want to do is you want to take some flex cement or some nail polish, uh, some clear nail polish, and coat the fly with it. And what that does is that'll help hold the quill together. Um, you'll allow you to catch more fish on it without it coming apart. When you do go to take the fly out of a fish's mouth, you don't want to grab the quill with your uh, hemostats. What it'll do is end up splitting the quill and you'll end up throwing the fly out. So you wanna try and grab the hook itself uh, when you're removing it from the fish's mouth. Again, all the items you need to tie this fly are listed below and uh, Whip Finish Industries will help you get the correct uh, materials you need to tie this fly and all the flies listed on our website. So we've got some great flies listed for November and October. If you go back through the October archives, you'll be able to see good flies for the fall and flies that you should be carrying in October, November, and in the early winter. So uh, thank you for watching Whip Finish Industries, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.